Hello students. Today we are going to study the second method of asexual reproduction that is budding. Budding is a method in which an organism produces a small outgrowth which is known as a bud and that bud later develops into a complete organism and then it detaches from the parent uh, organism. The first example that is most commonly uh, studied for the purpose of budding is Hydra. First of all, Hydra is a very simple multicellular animal. It is not unicellular but it is multi uh, multicellular and it reproduces by the process of budding which is an asexual method of reproduction. So uh, this is a parent Hydra that I have already drawn on the board. The Hydra it has uh, arms like structures called tentacles on its upper part. So when the reproduction is to take place, a small bud it appears on the side of the Hydra like this. Later on, this bud it grows and it develops tentacles just as in the parent organism. It develops all the characters of the parent organism. Like this. Or you can say it develops into a mini hydra. And finally, when all the parts have been developed, it detaches and it forms a daughter hydra. And this is the daughter hydra that has been formed just now. It should be of a comparative size. Like this. So this is a daughter hydra which has been produced by the process of budding. So I just repeat, a parent hydra, a small outgrowth is formed which is called the bud. Later on, this bud develops into a small organism which has all the features of the parent organism. And finally, when it is fully uh, mature, it separates from the parent organism and forms a daughter organism or a mini hydra, which again uh, undergoes growth, development, attains the adult size and the cycle of reproduction continues. The second example that we are going to take here is of yeast cell. Yeast is a plant, it is a unicellular plant. So in yeast, when budding takes place, first the nucleus divides and a small outgrowth is formed like this. Again, this is the bud. The nucleus divides like this. A part of the nucleus, the smaller part, it moves into the bud like this. And this is the parent yeast, original yeast cell that the parent yeast cell that we had taken here. Later on, this bud, it can detach. If it detaches, it develops a new chain of cells. Otherwise, sometimes because uh, in yeast, the process of budding is very quick. So, the bud doesn't detach that quick. So, it forms a chain because the bud remains attached to the parent cell. And meanwhile, it itself also starts budding. So, a chain of yeast cells is formed like this. The chain may even grow longer and this is how budding in yeast it takes place. I hope the concept is clear. Keep watching and do subscribe. Thanks.